everybody good evening and merry christmas to you all uh it's evening out here in england we have already had our dinner we are relaxing me and my children there is renata Hi. and Bati. Uh, my husband is out already in bed he's had a hard time because he was the one who was running about doing all the Office. preparations and because he also is a night shifter yeah so he hasn't had a long a good sleep. night sleep yeah for a, a, a bit so we let him go to bed so um we just want to just talk a little bit about um just the good things that we've had not just for christmas but throughout the year even though we haven't gone for a holiday but we're not complaining <laughs> but it looks like you're complaining are you complaining yes why are you complaining because we haven't gone to holiday yet we haven't gone for a holiday no but i think so many people didn't make it to go for a holiday and those who made to go for a holiday they are very happy i don't know about happiness but they had to take a lot of precautions yeah but for us we are grateful because yes. in spite of everything yeah God has kept us well, God has helped, kept us in good health. And I think Renata <coughs> needs to share her story. What happened, uh, Renata, in the new year when you came down running? And oh, do you I still, yeah, tell us about that dream. Basically, I have any notes. Yeah, she wrote it. Um, in the new year, she came downstairs, running, uh, saying, Mommy, Mommy, I had a dream. I, I, I had a dream. And you tell me dreams can be a good thing. Can you please interpret for me what this dream is all about? So she shared the dream and I told her with a little wisdom that I have what I thought the dream was all about, although I didn't quite say exactly what i knew it was all about the only thing is that i told her the wise person in the dream that she had was it's just the voice of wisdom just god usually uses uh, the figuratively speaking an older person in a dream to just share some wise advice or a prophecy it could be anything yeah so she wrote it down and uh, because of what happened to me she actually looked back and reflected and realized um that dream was actually meant for us as a family yeah renata would you want to share that with us? uh share and clarify um, what that yeah, was all about share that with one of them yeah um i was at this fair um where there was this massive hut of skelter and loads of pet fair games and stuff um i stuck with mum and barty uh stuck with dad and we kind of met up at performances from time to time there were fireworks in the distance of the fair but close enough to be dangerous mum kept saying how they were going to burn down the place and i just nodded there was one performance that had these bowling pin things but the long version and they were on fire. Mum just started running around the road so the flame wouldn't touch us. Um, the jugglers blew out the fire every time we would touch someone from the audience or the pin. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that was relevant there. The only was obviously like how, um, even in the midst of all this chaos, like we're pretty much like untouched. I was pretty, very grateful for that. Yeah, so basically what she had dreamt was maybe kind of like God just um, saying that he's put a wedge of protection. And maybe that could be you. 
could be so many things that have been sent your way to come you know you are set out there in harm's way but god has sent his angel of protection they've put a hedge of protection and that goes for i mean for the people who trust in god who pray who believe that god is there to protect them it's not like things are not going to happen yeah uh things happen even to the best of people i just recently um got very uh upsetting news and i realized this is one of examples of god protecting even when he allows a situation to happen in our lives he's allowing it but he's also bringing grace and protection and love and and surround you with 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 courage with strength so i look back i have celebrated the last two days of christmas christmas eve for us as a family and uh, Christmas today and just being grateful even in church the priest saying despite everything we have to find a reason to be grateful because at the end of the day Emmanuel God with us he sent the word and the word the word uh, became man and dwelled among us so in spite of corona in spite of what the year has been God is still able to take care of us. God is, is still among us, dwelling with us, taking care of our every need, taking of our every uh, cry. Those who need comfort, he's comforted them. Those who have lost loved ones, he's comforted them. He's, he's, bringing, he's given them grace to carry on, to believe, to trust him even more. And uh, yeah, but you, would you want to share something? What do you think the year has been? You've been off school like how long? You were off school how long? Five months. Five months. Yeah. And how how was it for you? It was good. It was good. It was a bit hard. Yeah. yeah. But how 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 hard? How did you cope with? Not being able to go to school for such a long time. Like, mm, seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard for everybody. Yeah. 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 But now at least, thankfully, you're back to school. You're able to go and see your friends and to just get back to a little bit of normal. Yeah. You're not able to go too many places because it's not possible to. Yeah, and Renata, how did you cope with not being in school for such a long time? Um, just kind of powered through and hope to get back to work quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's about it. What it was all about 2020. A year, every one of us will look back and have a story to tell mine has not been a story to untell because mine has been a story that has actually made me know and feel that this is the right thing for me to do i am not i wouldn't say i would be a camera shy person but i would say i am a very private person i don't go sharing about my life let alone having to go out there and Tell people about something as personal as my uh, being diagnosed. Yeah, I would rather have kept the matter private to my family, to my friends, to the people near me. But I don't know why God has uh, given me this grace to be able to come out and share this story. The story of, of grace, the story of healing, the story of a miracle but more than that that whatever god has put in my heart over the years what he has uh, told me privately that I, I i should and i can no longer make it a private matter that whatever i believe however i have trusted him for all the many years i have 
that I will, should shout it on the rooftop. I should tell people that God is good, that God is able to come out and come through for them in their situation. And as a new year comes through for, for us as individuals, as countries, as communities, I pray that people will um, have that faith, even if it's that little mustard seed, that something will start growing in you and you will believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, believe in that little spark that God has put in your heart, that you are able to wake up and make that first step. Even though somebody told you, you are not able to. Even if somebody told you, uh, I don't think you are cut out to, to do this or to do that. Try, give it your best and see God coming through for you. So I will um, pen off um, saying, God bless you. And if you feel inspired to do something similar or if God has called you to do something different, but you know you have been called, go ahead and do it because there is grace when you do that which God has called you to do. So me and my children will say bye. 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 And God bless you all. And if you like if you like this message, if you like our channel, could you uh please um subscribe, like, comment if you want to and notificate the video. Thank you. Bye.